Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Hey, Audrey. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Mm. The stores are putting out all their decorations. I'm digging out all my stuff, and i got the perfect plan of how to decorate the house. Melinda and I have parties to go to. The kids have parties to go to. I know. There are lots of commitments and all that shopping. And family get-togethers and hopefully lots of sledding. And waiting at the airports and everybody's expectations and mounds of bills. Uh Uh Uh-oh. You sound like Ebenezer Scrooge. (sighs) Bah humbug. I don't mean to, but sometimes I just can't help it. You would think after over 50 years of participation and planning, I'd be able to get it right, but it is so hard. It's been a really hard year, and uh, sometimes lately I've been feeling like, you know, like a sweater that's starting to unravel, and no matter how much I plan, something or somebody happens, and I have this major meltdown, and then all the guilt about losing the holiday spirit. I'll tell you, Marty, By the time New Year's Day comes around, I feel like one of those Ellis Island refugees, you know, where they see that sign that says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. That's going to be me, a huddled mass by New Year's Day. I really want to focus on the joy, but I'm anticipating a lot of stress. Well, Audrey, there there is some good news. You're not alone because we all feel like that at some point. Well, I know the holidays come with changes and challenges, but I want to be able to focus on the important things and create some good memories. Absolutely. There's some better news. How about a how-to list on how to take on this season? A little roadmap? That's what I'm looking for. Absolutely. A roadmap and great company and good food. On Monday, November 15th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., the common table is taking on this common issue. And we're tackling it before the holidays take hold. So comfort and joy, just what I've been looking for. And St. Luke's provides the food and the childcare. This year, I'm looking forward to a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas.